So for the past year or so, the only upcoming Roblox One Piece game people have been caring about has been Rail Seas. And for those of you guys that have been around in this community for a while, you know that's weird because One Piece games used to be getting all the hype back in the day. Well, I guess they still are, but it's mainly just been Rail Seas. You get the point. But it looks like we're finally seeing another One Piece game with potential arise on the scene. I don't think anyone necessarily thinks it's better than Rail Seas, at least based on what we've seen so far. There's, it's really hard to judge Rail Seas. Obviously, we haven't played it yet. But this game is actually already doing a combat test. Now, I'm pretty sure the combat test test is only for like actual testers and content creators but the fact that we're already getting a combat test does help a lot because i can actually tell you guys how fun the combat seems to be and if you're making a good roblox anime rpg it has to have good combat so if it has bad combat you know i can just tell y'all hey don't even worry about this game but i'll probably put some gameplay on the screen but from what i'm seeing right now i haven't played it yet it does look really good the combat appears to be fast paced and fluid and it's also parry based now i know some of you guys don't like parry based combat but for some of you guys that's going to be good news because obviously rail seas isn't parry based combat and honestly, I feel like this is the best way for them to kind of like pseudo compete against Rail Seas, I guess. Because there's like a diehard fan base for parry based games. And I assume a lot of people are going to prefer this game simply because it's parry based. Or at the very least, prefer the combat style just because they like parry based. Like, I think honestly, the better question would be can this game survive Rail Seas? And if the developers are listening, I'd be no offense by that. But I do think making a hardcore parry based type of One Piece game is the best way to actually be able to survive and actually thrive in a market like that. So I do believe this game is going in the right direction. Direction. Now, another cool thing about this game is the actual name of the game is called Four Blues. Now, I'm not sure if this actually means anything, but in my head, I'm thinking Four Blues, you know, One Piece, East Blue, North Blue, ETC. I'm hoping that that actually becomes a big part of the gameplay. Like, maybe they actually have all four of the blues in the game, where they start off with, like, two of them and then expand them, whatever. But most One Piece games literally don't focus on the blues at all, and they just focus on the Grand Line. They don't even care about where the islands actually are, which isn't really a problem. But I do think it would be cool to see a game actually focus on being more accurate accurate to where stuff is and how the actual show works now if i'm being completely honest with you without even playing the game it's obviously doubtful that's going to be able to compete with rail seas in terms of player count i just want to get that out the way because i know someone gonna be like actually you know uh it's not gonna be able to compete because nobody really knows it and everybody knows about rail seas but today i do actually want to hop in game and show you guys my experience with the game and the combat and see if it's something that you guys are going to want to see more of and if i'm personally interested in but real quick if we could hit the like goal of 43 likes and you know what i'm saying just do me a favor hit the subscribe button because these bills need to be paid you know i haven't uploaded in like five years i got hacked i got my account back so you know i say give me a welcome back with the like and subscribe button but either way i appreciate y'all let's actually hop in the game okay so i'm not gonna lie i had to try out the game a little bit i did record it but i'm not gonna show y'all all that because i was really trying to figure out how to play the damn game this game is not easy i thought it was gonna be a lot easier i mean i guess it makes sense it's like a more hardcore game one thing i already noticed off the bat that i don't like i'm gonna with y'all you can hold your m1s and it like extends how long the duration is and this is something that i'll probably like when i get used to it but right now when i'm just m1ing like naturally i hold my m1s for a little bit because in most games it doesn't matter right no if you hold your m1s for a little bit oh look at that like you're gonna be doing these long ass m1s now the benefit to this so the reason they have it as a mechanic i'm pretty sure if you hold left click then right click you infuse it with hockey right so it's kind of cool like you could do like hockey punches i don't know if they block break or they do more damage that's what i'm assuming they do but i'm not 100 percent sure now black leg is something i figured out this is literally how cool black leg is like kakuda from type soul but in one piece uh it's actually a lot cooler in my opinion though because you actually have to get to like catch them in the combo it's pretty cool me personally i didn't mind hakuda as much as a lot of people in type soul so i don't care that much but some people might not like that because i know a lot of people hate hakuda in type soul okay so i just asked this guy if i could hit him for showcase so i want to show you guys the moves first move on black leg okay so the first move is lunge yeah, up tilts them, and then you can catch them with the Gepo and that, and then uh, they actually have different variants in the air. Hakuda works very similarly in Type Soul, that's why I say it. And then you can like down slam them and like go in the party table and down slam them. It's pretty cool in my opinion. I know a lot of people hate Hakuda, but in my opinion, it's at least more interesting than actual Hakuda from Type Soul. Okay, so next move is Vakrusha. I actually like this one as well. It's a little uh, like dash attack. You basically like go through them and then the kicks come after. Like you did like a bunch of fast kicks or something. I did lunge into Basakodi. Basakodi on the ground, pretty similar to the air one, just on the ground. Basically just like a multi slash. Um, then you got party table kick, very basic in a lot of One Piece games. And then the last move, uh, it's the one that down slams at the end. I believe it block breaks in the air. I'm assuming it block breaks on ground too. It's a little kick, basically just kick him away. But like I said, in game you can hit him with like a combo where you go into that, then go into that, then catch him. Then party table midair, then down slam. Well, I guess party table, when you use it in air, that's a different cooldown than on the ground. That's actually interesting. So you could use it on air and then down slam and use it on the ground 
kind of broken, low key. Okay, so I was trying out the spear skills, and something I just noticed is you only have two geppos when you're on spear. So I guess Black Leg gets extra geppos, which I do like because Sanji can actually like use, uh, you know, what I'm saying geppo, so it makes sense. And then also probably because it has like the air combos and stuff is another reason they gave it extra. Oh, there we go. Bro, the hockey turned you fully black. What the hell? This is the, what's that one guy, bro? I'll put him on screen, bro. The full body hockey guy, bro. Apparently in the show, this is kind of trash because you want to only put it, you only want to infuse hockey in like the parts that are going to like be doing the punching or like that take the damage, I think. I'm pretty sure when you do this, you just make your hockey weaker overall. So Spear seems to be very interesting. I'm doing like hella... TPs and stuff, and I, I don't even know how to use it, so it's kind of weird, but it does seem cool if I got to know how to use it. I feel like every tree in this game is actually going to take, like, a lot of practice to, like, master, which I definitely like, but it is annoying right now since I'm trying to showcase them, and I don't know how to use them, and I don't have really time to learn them because they're closing the testing session, so. Okay, so Spear, for some reason, a lot of people thought the Spear skills were Mochi because they kind of look like Mochi, but uh, they're not Mochi. Uh, then for some reason the spear just has like a nimbus cloud like it's uh <laughs> It has a nimbus cloud like it's goku or something but like, like you can ride on it a little bit I, I, I don't know. I, it's something like that. I don't really know how to do it. Okay. I'm getting hit with the spear combo of doom I'm trying to equip my weapon So this is the other style. It's rush. I think this is a one sword style. I think it's just a different name They said oh, that's kind of cool. It only has four skills. I think the other ones have five but Maybe it has lower cooldowns because of that, or maybe they're still making the fist skill. Okay, this guy's gonna let me showcase the skills on him. So for Rush, you have four skills. Apparently, it's like one sword style. First move, just like basic slash. Then you have the crit, just like that. You have an M1s, very basic. In this game, uh, you can also, when you hold your M1, you click T to do that. Then you have drifting descent. Boom, little down slam. It's like that type of speed move, y'all know what I'm talking about. Still wind. A uh, little, little multiple slash, and you have two full with that. Uh, that's it for this one. I don't even want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, stay on this one too much. I want to show you guys some PvP. I'm going to use Black Leg for PvP because I can barely use the other ones. I spent a little bit of time learning Black Leg. I didn't spend any time learning the other ones, so I'm kind of trash. And this is Swift DF Editor here, and I'm not even going to lie to y'all. When I started playing this game, bro, everybody was sweats, bro. Everybody was crazy at the combos. I was getting shit on. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to lie, this combat does have a pretty big learning curve, in my opinion. Like, it's not something you walk in and instantly know how to do, at least in comparison to other Roblox games like other roblox games combat you can usually pick up in 0.3 seconds this is not going to be that game and although i do think that is cool i do think it will probably hurt them from actually expanding into a super large game because if we're being for real eight-year-old timmy is not trying to play this on iphone or on xbox especially when he could play block roots or something similar that has much easier combat but i do believe it will help this game find a niche because i don't think other games are going to have a combat system like this or at least other one piece games that are currently known and i know them damn types of depot can players going to be foaming at the mouth to to see this but let me just show y'all my progress throughout the combat and just some of my combat in general because even though i was getting shit on i'm not gonna lie it was funny as hell it was fun three oh no he didn't even count down he just bro oh my god bro i'm doing this i keep getting shit on y'all i gotta up my aura i gotta put on the aura look it's up for him now you don't even know look at my aura don't even know i have the aura now bro watch out bro He doesn't know. My aura is up. He doesn't know. He's not ready. I try to warn him. I try to warn him. I'm not the same man I was last fight. You see the fit? I don't think you see the fit. I don't think you see the fit. No, this guy's the parry. The parrier. The parrier of doom. No, hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm about to, I'm winning. Hopefully. Yes! Oh my.
my god, I finally won. My aura. Oh my god, I, I was trying to tell him he wasn't ready, bro. I got my fit and it was, it was wraps from us. He was like, I got my fit. No, he has auto parry. I don't carry his auto parry. How does he keep hitting that? I'm trying to tell you, as soon as I get the fit, I'm not the same man. That's it. I see why I'm losing. Full body hockey time. Hold on. Boom. But he's not ready for me now. That's all I needed. That's the power up I needed. I told y'all. This is what that full body hockey is about. Bro, get off the fucking game, you loser. Please get off the game. Do you have a life? Do you have anything else to do besides play this fucking game? Please. It's not even out. It's not even out. How are you? Oh my God. Get off the fucking game. Oh my God. It's Sage Z. Finally, somebody I can box. Somebody that's trash at games, please. Oh, 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 what, where are he going? Someone that hasn't been testing the game for their entire life that has no, nothing to do outside play this game, finally. He's here. Oh my, even he knows the combos though. Oh, hell no, how's his here? How do they just fall out of that every time? Yes! My goat! <laughs> Bro, finally, bro. Someone that doesn't play the game all day, bro. Bro, I finally beat somebody, bro. Okay, okay. I was beating other people, but barely, bro. Everyone in this lobby is sweats, bro. They're testers playing the game all day. Get a job, please. Do something with your life, bro. Get employment. You cannot have this much free time. But uh, Sage Z says he's going to show the maps. Loki, I got me. Damn, I should show the map, too. It's low key pretty decent, I feel like. It's definitely interesting. Like, uh, I like the little decorations, like the, the little, uh, chairs and everything it looks pretty good. Like the stands. The stands have, like, PNGs in them, which is funny, but, I mean, whatever, I don't really care. <laughs> like, look, guys, we have fruit. Wait, huh? Why is it a stretched out picture of an apple? You know what I'm but whatever. Um, it doesn't look like there's gonna be many interiors on these maps, but that's usual. Now, Rail C's, because we're comparing it to Rail C's in this video, you know what I'm saying, so I gotta bring it up. Uh, they said they're gonna focus a lot on interiors on Rail C, so I feel like, like, there's no question what game is gonna be, like, more immersive. I feel like really the people that will enjoy this game a lot, it's just gonna be the sweats that enjoy this type of PvP. I like this type of PvP, but damn, bro, I cannot do it. I can't do it like these guys can. They'll play this all day. Like, this is mind-numbing. This takes a lot of power, a lot of will for me to, to grind this, bro. I don't know. They just play this all day for fun. For fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. It actually is fun, but like, like I don't know. You just like... Eh. It's taxing having to fucking do these combos and shit. Long ass, like, all these binds and everything. Also, <laughs> something I noticed about the map. The water is not real water. It's just Goa Forest. I'm in the ocean game, but whatever. Uh, the ocean is not real. It's just a texture. So, I assume they just haven't made the ocean yet. which Or swimming. Which isn't a big deal, but uh, that does show this game is pretty, pretty early in development. I think they were talking about 2025 release. Um, so, we'll just have to see about when it actually comes out you never know with these roblox games 2025 release might mean 2028 release but i'm be so real with you check out this forest though this forest doesn't look bad it's just standard roblox forest damn this forest kind of big i'm probably cutting it up for y'all but like i've been traveling for a minute now map this island is not small the only problem is like it's probably gonna be empty as hell like i guess forest areas are naturally gonna be more empty than like city areas but hopefully they find some type of use for it like i assume literally what they're gonna do <laughs> Okay, if I, I'm not gonna hold up like that, but an average Roblox game, bro, just put like five bandit camps in this forest and call it a day. And then most of the forest will be empty except those five bandit camps. Oh, looks like we found another neighborhood. Hold on, hold on. The next neighborhood. Okay, these these bushes look weird. They're, oh, they're, they're PNGs. Look, you can see. Yo, this got to go, bro. I'll be so real with you. Get some 3D models in here, bro. What is this PNGs? As fucking <laughs> PNG wheat, bro. Give it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get that remake. But here's the little village here. Probably you could get like a style here or something. I don't know what. Unless it's a village from One Piece. Maybe it's like uh, the Usopp village. I forgot what Usopp's village is called. But that's the only village I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, there's an actual interior. <laughs> Hypothetically. 
what, what is going on? They got pictures. They got interiors. So they'll probably have like an NPC here that like sells something. But I actually don't hate the map. Let me know what y'all would rate the map. I think it's like decent. It's not crazy. Like I don't think anyone's going to be glazed in this map. But I would say it's uh, probably like a better map on Roblox. Like definitely above average. Pretty solid. Like if they just fix, uh, you know what I'm saying? The water not working. The water being not actual water. And uh, the PNGs. Especially with like this wheat and stuff. I think it'll be a lot better. We got a pathway. Let's see where this leads us. Hold on. What is this? We got a kingdom. Hold on. Edge Town. Something makes me feel like I belong in Edge Town. Are people that live in Edge Town called the Edgers? Oh, this is the main town. So I guess you could come behind and find this. So when you enter uh, the town, right, it says go for it. But then it goes to Edge Town. And I'm pretty sure Edge Town was actually uh, from Dawn Island, which is where Luffy's from. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like Luffy's starting island. And it's honestly a really good size. Like there's enough to explore. I haven't even gone around everything, but like it's definitely not small by any means. Now, I do hope they make some, some more of these interiors actually like have purpose and stuff. But we'll just have to see that over time. Yeah, maybe like uh, they'll have like the bandit like village with uh, the dawn. I know we've seen like the bandits over there, but I'm pretty sure they was on like a forest, right? So maybe that like the dawn and her crew there. Maybe you see like a, a, a little kid Luffy or something would be kind of cool. So I'm assuming this will be the starter point for the game. You'll actually be like Luffy. I mean, they called it four blues. So I'm assuming you're going to start here and then actually go to the different blues. Like uh, how actually Luffy did and like meet all different people like Sanji, Usopp, ETC. I, I would actually think it'd be really cool if they did it in story order you know what i mean but with all this being said i do believe this game actually has pretty high potential now i hope the potential doesn't get ruined by apparently it being a cc game i don't know if it plans to go in public or how exactly that's supposed to be i am assuming it eventually plans to go in public though because why else would they be actually letting content creators play and promote the game so i assume it would be like rail c's where it starts in cc and goes public or like every other game it feels like these days it starts in cc and then goes public or the developers bills get high and for whatever reason the game just decides to go public or my fault i just looked in the discord it literally says it's gonna go to public release after cc so that is confirmed let me know if y'all want me to cover the game in the future like they do have a good base down but we haven't seen devil fruits progression a lot of other stuff about the game as well if we hit the like goal of 4.2 likes hey we'll be back my fault one more big condition one of y'all has to subscribe at least one of y'all hey i know you're thinking about it right now do it just do it you know what i'm saying appreciate y'all love y'all later